everybody in YouTube land. Wide World of Trains here. How's everybody doing today? Hey, I got some good train videos for you in this video. Before we get to that, let me remind you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Wide World of Trains. We add new train videos every day of the year. I have over 14,500 train videos on YouTube for your enjoyment. And after you watch one of my videos, give a comment, let me know what you think, and give the video a like. All right, let's get to this train video. Roll it. DPU all right. Says right here on the hoodie. DPU all right. Roll it. Hey everybody, Wide World of Trains here. Well, I'm on my way, I'm going to be on my way to the train tracks here to get some trains. And this is what I start out with. Look at this. I had about a foot and a half of snow on the car and the windows are all iced up. So it's going to take me a half an hour just to get there which normally takes five minutes. But we're gonna go out, we're gonna get some trains today on this Thursday, February 3rd, 2022 from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Uh, here comes the next train video, roll it. It's the worst weather we've had yet this winter. Nearly a whiteout, blizzard-like conditions, windy, just about everything you can think of. Today is Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. We are on our way down to the railroad tracks. Hopefully to catch some trains. This kind of weather, I don't know. Hopefully you'll see some, be cool to see some in the snow. If you haven't already seen them, I got a lot of good train videos on the snow this year. Check them out if you haven't already. And if you haven't already subscribed to Wide World Trains, please do so. And whenever you watch any of my videos, leave a comment, even if it's a nice video or something like that, something short. Or if you want to elaborate and have a longer comment, go ahead and do that. And always give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. We appreciate it here at Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Took about 20 minutes to get out of my driveway. It was that bad. And it's going to get worse throughout the day and night, I guess, what they say on the forecast. If you have a pickup truck, four wheel drive like those people, I guess you think it's nothing going 50 miles an hour in a 45. up ahead. Less than an eighth of a mile visibility. And those trucks are really booking. Like I said, if you're used to driving in these conditions, then you know what to do. But if you're not used to it, like a lot of people down south, you see a lot of accidents and stuff down there on the news. You just got to know how to handle this kind of weather. Unfortunately, I'm used to it. <laughs> We're coming up to the Norfolk Southern Tracks. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn here and go down a side street, just in case the train does come. Fire hall to the left, right over there, hose company number four. Hold to that Norfolk Southern tracks in about a minute here. You'll be able to tell if a train's gone by by the snow if it's been moved. 
the train. Doesn't look like it from here. I'll turn down this street right here. We're on Lincoln Avenue and Doty Street, Dunkirk, New York. Definitely no trains in the last, I would say, hour, just by looking at the tracks. All right, we're going to go down to the, uh, there's a CSX branch line right there, just across that, the former DAV, Dunkirk, Allegheny Valley. down to the CSX tracks and sit there and hopefully catch a few trains in the snow. Getting close to the CSX tracks over here. Again, blizzard conditions. February 3rd, 2022. The local train might still be here. We have to do that switching in these conditions. Well, it's got to be tough. trains come all the way down here in these conditions to uh, not get many trains would be cool why would the trains book CSX maintain area. I hear him on the radio. Comes out at 11 o'clock every night. He stays all night. Make sure things are working like the interlockings and stuff like that. And there's the local right there. out there with the broom on the switches. I mean, it's hard enough cleaning your driveway when you got to clean switches. Yeah. He's, he's, he's earning his pay, I'll tell you. Alright, we're going to sit here and wait for some trains. Here comes the next video. Roll it. There goes the local. They're going to go hook up to their train and go back to Erie, Pennsylvania. And let me tell you, that conductor's out there. Doesn't have an easy job. He's out there cleaning the switches so they can switch back and forth to hook up to their train. Guys like that is what makes America run. And women, too. There are women that work on the railroad. And without people like that, um, you just wouldn't get any goods at the stores and stuff. People like that is what makes America run. I mean, them are tough conditions out there. It's about 20 degrees, blizzard, snow falling at 3 to 4 inches per hour. And he has to take a broom and clean each switch individually and make sure it's lined and locked. Normal things like that double checked all in these conditions it may be fun to us you know watching trains but it's really real work for these people don't forget that and always never go on the tracks 
or getting anywhere near any trains. Look at that out there. It's a regular old buffalo blizzard, lake effect snow. We're used to it out here though in western New York. Symbol on that train is CSX I-165. I roll up these windows. That train originates in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, I gotta catch my breath. Man. It is nasty out there today. Originates in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, heads west, crosses the Niagara River near Niagara Falls into Buffalo, New York, changes into CSX, CSX I-165 in Canada, it's, CS, it's uh, CP-143, <clears throat> changes crews once it's in Buffalo, CSX crews take it all the way to Chicago, Illinois at Schiller Park where it terminates, all on this Thursday. February 3rd, 2022, from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Uh, we are in a winter storm right here. Blizzard conditions. That's the first train of the day. I've been out here about an hour and a half. I've seen the local, but I mean, besides that, this is the first one. So hopefully we'll get a few more. All right, here comes the next video. Roll it. It looked like he was going slow as he was approaching the crossing. Must be something to do with the snow obscuring the picture.
really booking, isn't he? Booking through the snow. See how long we can follow it. Not very, huh? Booking through the snow. Symbol on that train is CSX I-003. That train originates in Port Newark, New Jersey. Heads west all the way to Bedford Park, Illinois. All on this snowy, blizzardy Thursday. February 3rd, 2023 from Wide World of Trains on YouTube. Uh, here comes the next video. Roll it. Hold it. Don't click away because there's more trains to come. There always is a wide world of trains because you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's the next video. Roll it. Hey everybody, wide world of trains here. The um, CSX is having trouble with the uh, interlockings between their main one and main two main lines, track one and track two main line. The uh, switches are full of snow and they can't be operated by the dispatcher remotely who's in Florida. So they sent out some maintainers to uh, try to unclog the, uh, the snow. At least that's what I'm assuming it is. I don't know what else it could be. Couldn't get the switches to throw. So they got maintainers are going to dig them out and then they're going to try that. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing any eastbounds for the last couple hours. Well, that's why. Different, uh, different spot here. Lots of snow here on this Thursday, February 3rd, 2022. From Wide World Trains and YouTube. Uh, it's like plowing through the snow. It's kind of deep. Even though it looks like the roads have been plowed, it hasn't been, probably hasn't been in a couple hours and it's really building up. So I could see how the trains would have trouble running, throwing their uh, automatic, their uh, remote switches at the interlockings. It says people walking in the street in the snow. Look at that. Man. spot I'm going to is about the only one I can think of where it's really plowed really good. Last thing I want to do is get stuck out here. And we're supposed to get snow all night. Winter storm warning. Between, well it started last night actually at 10 p.m. Goes all the way to tomorrow Friday uh, the 4th. sit up here and hopefully catch a few more trains. So here comes the next video. Roll it. The camera got stuck in the 
window. off of the snow. Symbol on that train is CSX Q568. Gotta shut this window. That train originates in Walbridge, Ohio. Heads east to Buffalo, New York, where it terminates at the Frontier Yard. All on this Thursday, February 3rd, 2022, from Wide World of Change on YouTube. Uh, here comes the next video. Roll it. Train broken down, broken down on the main line, so they have another train picking up the crew. All right, in position 30, Norfolk Southern talking there. Line number six, proper shipping name will be propane. G-R-L-P-A-N-E. Technical shipping name is motorized propane. And line number five is one tank. Line number six, shipping name is propane. Line number seven, technical name is motorized propane. Oh, look at that! How cool is that?
messes with the focus. Yeah, there's a train. The Q368 is dead on the track. It's blocking the main, so what's happening here is this train that, that's going by now waited for the faster train that just went by. Once the faster train cleared, which it just did, as you can see, now this train is crossing over on the track that the other train was on to get around the train that's blocking the main line. And there's a this train here that just went by, or no, the next one is going to pick up the crew and take them on to Buffalo, and they're going to leave the train there for several hours until they can get it, whatever they need to get done on it. that's why this train is going slower he's crossing over down about two miles mile and a half from this spot here where I'm at CSX had to call out maintainers to go to the switches where the interlockings are um, to clear out, get the snow off of the switches so they would work. They weren't working. And that's what this train here is going over the interlocking right now. I hear some noise. Hey, PPU all right. Look at that. Talking along, number 908. Not often do I see big freight trains go slow. They usually go 50 to 60 mile an hour through here. Looks like he's stopping. I'm going to have to put the camera down. There's too much snow getting in the car. Let's see if we can watch it this way. I don't know. Yeah, he's coming to a stop. He must not be... He must be... Um, just coming up to the interlocking right now. I can get a different view here. It's almost impossible to get a video in these kind of conditions. Yeah, he stopped. Just about. He may be stopping at the interlocking and not crossing over yet until this other train clears, this next train. Yeah, he stopped. And that train that's there now, the other train that stopped, is picking up the crew of the Q368. That's the dead train that's dead on the tracks. Back at CP42. And that's a what a coincidence. Uh, this is a 367 that stopped because of the 368. That is the train that's dead on the tracks. Man, he is booking. 
Okay. from the train. Wind from it. Okay, the other train's starting to move. Oh, you ain't gonna see that through there. <laughs> Okay, the train that just went by, left to right, that was a I-008. That train starts out in Rose Lake, Illinois, terminates in North Bergen, New Jersey. This train here was waiting for that train to go. The train that just went by was on track one, on the other end side of the interlocking. The train cr crossed over from one to two, and once the end of that train cleared, it allowed this train, which is on one, to continue west on one. And it's all because farther back on track two, the Q368 is a stranded train. It's dead. Something happened to the locomotive or something. So they're just leaving that train there for who knows how many hours. And they have trouble with the switches, the interlocking. So they got maintainers there clearing the snow from the interlockings. So the dispatcher that who's in Florida can switch them remotely to get these trains to go around the stranded train. I hope that all makes sense. The symbol on this train here is CSX Q367. The stranded train is Q368. And here's the end of 367. Comes the next train video. Roll it. Yes, a couple of cabooses. Whoa! A couple old cabooses. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Two Chessy cabooses. No way.